Prelude FLNG is the world's first floating liquefied natural gas platform as well as the largest offshore facility ever constructed. The Prelude is being built by Samsung Heavy Industries in South Korea for Royal Dutch Shell. It is 488 meters long, 74 meters wide, and made with more than 260,000 tons of steel. In operation, it would weigh more than 600,000 tons. More than five times the weight of the largest aircraft carrier. The hull was launched in December 2013. Construction The main double hulled structure was built by the Technip Samsung Consortium in the Samsung Heavy Industries, Gowad Shipyard in South Korea and in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Construction was officially said to have started when the first metal was cut for the substructure in October 2012. The turret mooring system and other equipment such as wells are being constructed in other places around the world. It was launched on November 30, 2013 with no superstructure. Subsea equipment is being built by FMC Technologies, and Emerson is the main supplier of automation systems and uninterruptible power supply systems. Analysts estimate the cost of the vessel at between $10.8 billion and $12.6 billion. Operations The Prelude FLNG system will be used in the Prelude and Concerto gas fields in the Browse Basin, 200 km off the coast of Australia. Drilling is expected to begin in 2017 and have a planned life expectancy of 25 years. Natural gas will be extracted from wells and liquefied. The ability to produce and offload LNG to large LNG carriers is an important innovation, which reduces costs and removes the need for long pipelines to land-based LNG processing plants. However, fitting all the equipment onto a single floating facility was a big challenge. The system is designed to withstand Category 5 cyclones. It will produce 110,000 BOE per day. The problem is a joint venture with KOGAS and INPEX. See also, Royal Dutch Shell, Floating Liquefied Natural Gas, References.